A popular art space is moving to a new location. Contemporary Craft is leaving the produce terminal in the Strip District and relocating to Butler Street in Lawrenceville. It's just one of the many changes in Lawrenceville in the past few years. And with all those changes, some people say they can't afford to live there anymore. Money editor John Delano takes a look at what's being done to provide affordable housing options. In some ways, it's a good problem. Everywhere you turn in Lawrenceville, there's building going on. Whether it's constructing new apartments, upgrading old ones, or just rehabbing a home that's been there for decades. We've seen dramatic changes, particularly in the last couple of years. Take the average home sales price in Lawrenceville. In 2010, the median home sales price was around $94,500. By 2017, it had more than doubled to $237,000. What worries some people is that the popularity of Lawrenceville is beginning to price a lot of average folks out of the market. For example, the going rate for a one-bedroom apartment might be as much as $1,200 a month. We've lost uh, a half of our Section 8 housing uh, units in the neighborhood in the span of five years. David Bringen is the head of Lawrenceville United a residents' advocacy group that hopes the city will soon implement what's called inclusionary zoning. Inclusionary zoning is a policy that's used uh, increasingly across cities across the country uh, that either incentivizes or mandates uh, private developers uh, as they're creating new residential developments uh, that a certain percentage of them should be for uh, folks earning low and median incomes. In other words, before a developer is permitted to build, he or she must commit to offer some units at lower affordable rates. Pittsburgh's Affordable Housing Task Force recommends that in developments of 20 units or more, at least 10 percent are set aside. But the city has not yet required that. We're just trying to get it to the finish line. Bringen says it's important not to leave people behind. As the neighborhood grows, uh, we're growing for everybody, uh, and, and in particularly for the folks uh, who've historically comprised this neighborhood. John Delano, KDKA News.